Nikola Tesla. Nikola Tesla would sit at his table in the Waldorf Astoria dining room and ritually clean the already pristine silverware and crystal with precisely 18 napkins. He liked his numbers divisible by three, and you can never be too careful about germs. Tesla's compulsions and phobias were many. He would never touch another person's hair, except perhaps at the point of a revolver. But at the turn of the century, the public recognized in this man, with the hypnotic steel blue eyes, the electrical wizardry that set the world alight. With his invention of an alternating current system that made long distance power transmission possible, Tesla, not Edison, opened up the age of electric light. He beat Marconi in demonstrating the wireless. And in 1898, he exhibited radio controlled boats and torpedoes. His experiments also anticipated radar, X rays, solar power, and the atom smasher. Born in 1856 <coughs> in Smiljan, Croatia, now a part of Yugoslavia, Nikola Tesla was blessed with a photographic memory. He could memorize entire pages of books at a glance, but he was also plagued by apparitions. To escape these periodic flashes of light in which pictures appeared before his eyes, he began to take imaginary journeys to other worlds. This I did constantly until I was about seventeen, Tesla recalled, when my thoughts turned seriously to invention. Then I observed, to my delight, that I could visualize with the greatest facility. I needed no models, drawings, or experiments. After studying at the University of Prague, he went to work in 1881 for the Budapest Telegraph Company. It was there, as Tesla was walking through a park with a friend, that a vision of an alternating current motor descended upon him. Earlier, he had become obsessed with the creation of such a motor. Now his mind's eye had not... Now his mind's eye had seen not only the motor, but also a whole new system for the generation and distribution of electric power. To commercialize these ideas, he moved to America in 1884. After a stint working for Thomas Edison, who Tesla felt cheated him out of a promised bonus for improving Edison dynamos, he formed his own company and won 40 patents for AC equipment. When entrepreneur George Westinghouse bought the patents, the stage was set for a struggle over which system, Tesla's AC or Edison's DC, would power America's factories. Edison's strategy was to, to claim publicly that AC was deadly. To prove him wrong, Tesla would invite the press to his Manhattan laboratory for demonstrations in which he picked up lamps and lighted them without wires by letting high-frequency current stream through his body. Tesla's AC system won out over DC after Westinghouse used it to illuminate the world's Columbian Exposition in Chicago in 1893. A few years later, Tesla's generators harnessed the power of Niagara Falls, a feat he had foreseen in childhood. Other incidents seemed to show Tesla's supernatural powers. When he envisioned a cloud floating away with angelic figures, he instantly knew that his ill mother had died. Another time, he detained his party guests so they missed a train that crashed. Certainly, his intuition helped him divine the secrets of science and, and apply them to his inventions. Tesla's gas-filled tubes were the forerunners of neon and fluorescent lighting. To generate extremely high voltage, he invented the, the Tesla coil, important to most radio and TV sets. In 1899, at Colorado Springs, he created lightning in a partially successful attempt to transmit electrical energy without wires. Tesla's brilliance and compelling personality made him a social success among the New York 400. He cultivated the millionaires among them as patrons. <clears throat> From J.P. Morgan, he received backing for a world wireless plant on Long Island, which he viewed as his crowning achievement. Tesla had received 
excuse me, Tesla had conceived of a system that would transmit messages freely, what we now call broadcasting. But a financial panic came along, and the backing ended. After that, Tesla's career dimmed. He spent his time feeding pigeons in a park and doted on one bird that was almost pure white. One night she flew through his window as if to convey a message. She was dying. From her eyes came powerful beams of light, he recalled. Dazzling, blinding light. When his pigeon died, so did the inventor's conviction that he would finish his projects. On January morning in 1943, he died in his sleep at 87. Already the modern world had started to forget the name of Nikola Tesla, but in recent years the visionary inventor's memory has been revived. He was a discoverer of new principles, says his biographer John J. O'Neill, opening many new empires of knowledge, which even today have been only partly explored.